Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for June 14th to the 20th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And as well, guys, I am not doing personal readings at this time. However, I am offering three free personal readings. All the information is the end of this video, so stick with me to the end. And remember, these are general messages, so you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. Feel free to cross watch. All right, so what are we going over today? We're going over the day to day, their feelings for you, so whoever that may be, whoever you turn on this video for, the blockage is lays and challenge, and then we're going to sum everything up as far as the day to day on the overall, okay? So if you're uncertain about how it's going to play out, then the whole overall, you want to stick to me till the end, okay? So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm going to show you guys what I am seeing here. Okay, so let's jump right in here. Let me move this over. All right, so what's going on on my Leos? Romantic Love Life, June 14th to 20th. Show me the cards. Let's see? Show me the cards I need to. Okay. okay. So we got the June 14th. We got 15th, 16th. So I can already see that there is somebody playing politics here. 17th. And there's definitely some passionate energy coming for you guys. It looks like momentum is gaining for you guys. 19th. Someone isn't being straightforward though. Okay. I'm going to put these aside. Sorry about that. I'm banging on the table. Apologize. I also want to see what urgent messages you guys need to know this week. Okay. What urgent messages does Leo need to know this week that could help with their situation? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right. So, yes, it's not going to come together, Leo, the way you're expecting it to. It's a little bit beyond ordinary, okay? So be aware of that. Also, oh, okay. For this card, for me, always speaks of, like, the Queen of Wands energy. There is definitely a lot of people checking you out this week, okay? And you're going to have to be open-minded because it's not going to come together the way you're expecting it to. But definitely someone's definitely trying to kiss you. They're, they're definitely attracted to you. They just can't stay away from you. And then we see there's this great big love coming in for you guys. So we got this great big love here. Mm -hmm. So definitely something that you're not expecting beyond the ordinary. It's not going to come together the way you expect it to. But they are definitely very attracted to you. And they are coming for you, and they definitely have a love for you with the big love card. Okay, so let's also get some more clarity here. And I'm also going to use the Lenormand as a clarity cards as well. All right, so Leo's Romantic Love Life, June 14th to the 20th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. And then Leo's Romantic Love Life, June 14th to the 20th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay move these over just to get them out the way there all right so we see the king of swords is coming out gemini libra aquarius energy okay gemini libra aquarius energy is like this very political kind of energy it's like someone's really playing politics there. like you know what they just they they know what to do here they know what moves to make here they know what to say they're like a politician okay <laughs> so they're, they're speaking the talk here and it's because they have a sense of control or they want to be victorious when it comes to you gemini libra aquarius energy and there is some decisions being made on this day all right so we see that you know this person's like, I'm in control. I want to take a leadership role here. I'm going to do it in a very political way. I'm going to, I'm going to say all the right things and words to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's keep going here. That is on the 14th. Now on the 15th, look at that. There's some passionate energy coming out, guys. As I said, this week, what did it urgency you say? You're like that rules. It's like, you get some some passionate energy there that knight of wands energy it's definitely coming in fast okay and um yeah this is a soulmate connection too as well with the soulmate card and for some of you this there could be traveling towards you uh this could be through a long distance relationship there could be some movement or travel happening but there there's some chemistry and passion and happening on that day all right so a decision to travel a decision for movement or change taking control because of the soulmate connection being very political here and taking that action towards these passionate energies. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we got this message coming in for you guys with the Page of Pentacles, a very serious message because Pentacles deal with money, finance, children, family. So you're getting a very serious message here. <laughs> 
there we go money and finance <laughs> yep and uh, to go out so we see you can maybe be going out on that day hanging out on that day you may be involved with uh, socializing with other people on that day for some of you it may be work related on that day um, but we see that there's this potential uh, message here or some serious messages here about money and finance so we see there's a decision for movement change and people there's control here or taking control of this soulmate connection because of money and finances involved or hindering the romantic love life here. I'm going to be very political here with the King of Swords energy. I'm going to say all the right words here and I'm going to be very logical about this because I definitely feel that there's some passionate chemistry here, but this person's like looking for some potential long term here, okay? Something of value here. Okay, let's keep going. I feel like this day you kind of just want to walk away from the whole thing with the Eight of Cups energy physically or mentally, you know? Um, I do feel like you just not wanting to deal with it. I, I have a sense that you're the person that's kind of laying there and then the other person's like, oh, come on, Leo, Leo, come on. And you're just like, no, I don't want to be bothered today. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here when it comes to socializing. So you're kind of just want to walk away, possibly because you want to socialize, you want to hang out with friends here or family here. So you're kind of walking away from the situation to socialize and there's a conversation about this. or. They want to go out with you. They want to have a conversation about going out and you're kind of just like, I don't, I don't know. And maybe I just want to walk away right now. I'm not feeling it. Okay. Kind of energy. So there's this decision for movement change or travel because of socializing, going out or people and a conversation is happening about that. Then we see on the 18th here, it looks like momentum's on your side. Things are moving in your favor here with the wheel of fortune card. And even though you do have a sense of challenges on this day, you're overcoming these delays, blockages, and challenges, because this for my card is like the mountain card energy. So fortune for this deck is the wheel of fortune card. So yes, you're having a sense that there's a lot of delays and challenges, but the day does turn for the better because of the fact that you got the wheel of fortune card there. And it's because of wisdom here with the Lily's card energy or something to do with a long time wisdom energy, wisdom energy, patience, wisdom, or, you know, just kind of, you know, from your wisdom from the past of like, all right, how do I overcome these delays, blockages, and challenges? And then you have an awareness, wow, things are moving in my favor. Okay, so let's keep going here. On the 19th, don't worry, we're going to bring it all together with the overall. On the 19th, Seven of Swords energy is saying, okay, someone's not telling the truth. Someone's being deceptive here with Seven of Swords energy on this day. About what? Friends. And what have you been seeing here? Something to do with these people? Right? We keep seeing the public card, socializing card, going out card, and we see friends here as the, the, the fact that someone's not being honest about friends, okay? And love, okay? So you got this friend that's not being honest with you about the fact that they love you on the 19th. What, what's going on, Leo? Remember, let's come back to what, what we found out for your urgent messages. It was like... Things are not going to come together the way you expect them to, okay? But they're very attracted to you, and there is great love here for you. And what is it? There is great love here for you. <laughs> and then Seven of Swords is like, they're not being completely honest with you. There's challenges, delays, or blockages because of friends. Long time love. Yep, that great big love there. Things are moving in your favor, but maybe there is a sense of dishonesty about it. Mm -hmm. Not sharing their thoughts, complete thoughts. There's passion, energy, actions towards passion. Somebody who had walked away and they're not being honest about it with Seven of Swords energy. There's a soulmate connection and wanting to go out here because or something to do with friends could be an issue here. There's movement, travel, or change in a conversation about love. Mm -hmm. So then what do we see here? We see, let's be patient. Figure out what we want to do on a long-term basis with the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're getting a text message, a Facebook message here, okay? And it is about a fresh start and a new opportunity. Child card energy, mm-hmm. Long time love, fresh start, new opportunity. Conversation, decision to have a conversation about this new situation. People and choices, conversation, long time, patient energy or wisdom. Love, what's the love about? A decision about people, okay? So I feel like some of you are having some issues around friends or something to do with friends being an issue, uh, causing some blocks, delays, and challenges in the situation. Or for some of you, this is a friend that you're getting involved with, okay, because of the fact that we see friends and some delays and challenges because of that. And it's like, can I be honest, you know? Or are they being honest with me about the situation? There's a conversation happening here. There is a soulmate connection 
possibly with some of you with a friend, okay? There's movement, travel, or change when it comes to love. There's a conversation about love, and there is something new here because we see there is a message, text message, Facebook message about this new situation and trying to figure out what you want to do on a long-term basis. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, Leo. And I want to see what's going to happen with your love interest. How do they feel about you romantically? So let's move this out of the way and see. Okay, feelings. Moon card. Queen of Swords. Six of Wands. Let's go further on this. The ring card energy, happiness, and oh my God, they're obsessed with you. First, I wanna go over the blocks, delays, and challenges. Well, what did we see? You guys have a huge opportunity for love here, right? That's part of the blocks, delays, and challenge in your romantic love life this week, this love, this huge opportunity of, of love here. And you're at a crossroads. What do I do? I need to make a choice. And there is a lot of emotions that play, or some of you are dealing with money and finance that seems to be part of the issue here. Okay, so as you guys see, there's this great big love for you guys. All right, so let's go over this person's feelings. Now, this person doesn't have to be somebody you're with, just can be the person you turn on this video for. Let's see what's going on with their feelings. Their feelings are, I'm confused because of a commitment engaged in our marriage. I'm confused of whether or not we'll have a commitment. I don't want to keep going around in circles. I want to speak my truth to Leo because I want to be happy here. I want their attention. I'm so obsessed with them. Leo, oh my goodness. <laughs> They're stressing about this knowledge and an opportunity, the key card energy. This person's really obsessing here. Okay, Leo, this person's really obsessing about their happiness with you and a commitment. And they just don't know. They wanna speak their truth. They just want your attention here, okay? They want this victory with you. Um, they're trying to take away the secret for an opportunity here. Okay, Leo, okay. We gonna keep going. <laughs> Let's see what the overall outcome is here. Okay, so the overall outcome for you guys, Six of Cups energy, reminiscing about the past. Princess of Cups, what did I say? Great love. And Strength card energy. Okay, and let's go further. An opportunity, yep. Some huge transformational changes and gaining knowledge about this. Mm-hmm. Bear card energy. Okay, tower card energy, and then a person card's coming out. So remember, with the person card, it can be the person you're giving the reading for or the person that this reading's about. Okay, so it looks like there's some stuff coming up pertaining to the past or reminiscing about the past. For some of you, it seemed like this person you may have known for a while, okay? Because we got the Lily's card coming out when we did the day-to-day. -day. And for some of you, this is obviously a friend. So some reminiscing about the past, which brings up an opportunity, and they gain the strength and the control, okay? There is this message of love coming in which really is going to change things, transform things, give you a huge breakthrough, kind of shock you and surprise you, and is gonna make you wanna just kind of isolate yourself. Now that explains that Eight of Cups energy, you wanting to just walk away from the situation, you're like, I don't know what to do, <laughs> they wanna go out, okay? And then you're trying to find that strength and that courage to gain knowledge about that person, okay? Going further here, yep, you're gonna really think about this. You're gonna they see how things play out because you're just like, they gotta be not telling me the truth, deception card energy. You're leaving this person down the cold, five of pentacles energy because of the fact that you need to make some kind of decision or you're not trying to make an abrupt decision because that's the Knight of Swords energy. And King of Wands is like, all right, you know what? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. I need to take a leadership role here and be wise in my decision making when it comes to chemistry and passion here with this person. And then we go further here. Stability and stableness, house and family, and some kind of letter, text message, Facebook coming in for you guys. And they wanna pay you a visit, right? They wanna socialize, go out. There we go, the writer card energy. All right, remember, this is a great love here though, Leo. All right, my darlings. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. There's some crazy readings going on here. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. For the free reading contest, I'm gonna be picking three people in the month of June, possibly towards the end of June, so stay tuned. 
um, and I will be um, having spirit draw me to the three people who need a free reading the most. Obviously, all you have to do is put soulmate in the comments below. That's it. I love you guys so much. I am releasing the mid months. That's the next reading that's coming out. Love, career and finance, health and wellness. So stay tuned for that. Also, you guys, for more information, you can check out the monthlies, which are available right now for your sign, as well as the bi-weeklies. They're up and available for you. And the secrets. Get more information about what's going on here. Since you feel like there's some deceptions here. So dig in deep, dig in deeper. However, spirit is saying with the urgent messages for the week, you need to understand they are very attracted to you and there is great love here. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon.